Astros one win away from their second World Series in six years. Inside corner to ring him up. He heats him up. Two seamer and eats him up. It's a high drive center field. This game is turned upside down. Hector Neris with a 1 2 3 7. There goes the runner. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros, world champions. And good evening to you. I am Tom Zisco. Welcome to our Swing for the Rings special coverage as your Houston Astros, our World Series champions, winning game six in dramatic fashion. We have learned the city of Houston will host a news conference at 2 p.m. tomorrow to announce details of a celebratory parade. We will stream that live on our website. But let's get to the action tonight. We have team coverage out of Minute Maid Park including watch parties across the Metro. But first, Fox 26 Sports Director Mark Berman live from the ballpark with the highlights. Mark. Guys, we're going to go to highlights first. The Astros win 4-1, to one, win the World Series four games to two. I'm here with Mayor Sylvester Turner uh, at Minute Maid Park. Mayor, first of all, what do you think about your Astros winning a world championship? They are incredible, amazing. Uh, what an incredible series. I mean, but they've been, look, they've been winning. They won during the regular season, and now they're the World Series championship uh, tonight, um, and the city is on fire. How happy are you for Astros fans and your city, your hometown? Look, I, I'm, if I could fly, I would. Um, you know, sports, sports can pull a very diverse city together, and tonight in these stands, you had people from all walks of life, all political persuasions, religious uh, persuasions, persuasions, but they were here for one purpose and that was to root on the Astros to win the World Series. Our job is to get stories first. Give me the details on the parade you have planned for Monday. There will be a press conference tomorrow at 2, uh, but, yeah, I can tell you that the parade will be on Monday. You know, can you give us what time? Uh, it will probably be at 11, unless something has changed in the next 24 hours. But uh, in 2017, we had a million people out there. Uh, this time around, we're going to lengthen the route try to make it a little bit more linear, but it will be downtown. We're expecting a much larger crowd than we had 20 in 2017. Bigger than a million. We expected more than a million people. Thanks for the info, Mayor. <laughs> Talk soon. Thanks. Thank All right, buddy. See you. All right. Let's get to the game coverage. The Astros beat the Phillies 4-1 to one to win the World Series four games to two. This is their second World Series title in franchise history. Now to the highlights. With the Astros down one nothing in the sixth, Jordan Alvarez hits a monster 450-foot home run with Jose Altuve and Jeremy Pena on base. A free-run homer off what Fox says with a 99-miles-per-hour fastball, the fastest pitch Jordan ever homered off of in his career. Still in the sixth, the Astros DH Christian, Vald Christian Vasquez with a two-out RBI single scoring Alex Bregman, Astros led 4-1. From Valdez done after a brilliant six innings, giving up one run on two hits with two walks and nine strikeouts. He had a magnificent World Series. Jeremy Pena is the MVP. Dusty Baker wins his first World Series title as a manager. The Astros are World Series champions again. Beating the... You know, I think it just proves that how good this team is, how good it's been for a long time, winning six American League uh, appearances um, and... You know, been in a World Series four out of six years or whatever it is, um, that's not easy to do. And so, you know, it's a tribute to, you know, the support from the fans. We get great support here, as you can see. And it's also, you know, a lot of hard work from everybody, from the front office to the back office to the building. Um, I try to pay attention to everybody, and it's a team effort. And so um, I think the consistency we've shown is the work we put in. And, you know, you're not always going to get every decision right, but you, you try to get every one you can make, make the best decision you can. And, we, you know, Dusty's done a great job. James James has been in there and made some good moves for us. And I'm just proud of everybody to be able to pull it off. It's it's fantastic, and I'm so happy for the city. You never gave up after, after 2017. You kept coming back. Is it a relief to win it again? Listen, I just think it proves we're really good. You know, we've been consistent. We've been good for a long time. And, you know, that's what we did. We won. So, you know, I'm so happy for the guys in the city. Jim, is this sweeter than 2017? Well, I think they're all big. They're very hard to win, as everyone knows. You know, we've lost some close ones. We've won some close ones. A lot of these games could have went anyway, either way. 
um, but you know, it, you know, it, it means a lot. Every single one. This one's great to make a comeback and to do it in this building is very special. You were very emotional after you won in New York. Are the emotions the same? You're more emotional? Earlier, I try not to cry, but it's fun and you know it gets to you when you put in that much. It's just like you know you just let it out. So you know it's great. For legacy purposes, do you think you needed to win another one like this? Well, of course we did. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know. Listen, you know, the team's been good. You know, it's hard to win these things. You know, 19, we probably had the best team on paper and didn't win. So, you know, the Phillies were a hell of a team. They gave us a hell of a run. They played really, really well. One swing, one play, one hit, they're, they're, they could be up here. So it's difficult. Are you good with the word dynasty now, Jim? I'm letting you guys work with that word. I'm not talking about that. We, we will be ready next year. I'll tell you that much. What would you like to say to Astros fans right now, Jim? We love you all. The, the support here you can see, you know, from the, the building to the, to the you know, Mattress Mac. I mean, he supports the team. City's in it. You know, the sponsors are in it. The employees are in it. it it's a team effort. I'm glad. I, I'm so happy for the city because they support us. And, you know, I tell the players, I'm not paying them. It's the fans that are paying them. And they paid tonight, and they deserve it. I'm here live at Minute Maid Park with the police chief of Houston, Troy Fenner, born and raised Houstonian. How happy and proud are you of this team and for the city of Houston? Dude, I am so happy and so proud of the Astros, man. I talked to Dusty at the beginning of the year, Mr. Crane, this whole organization, and I told him what winning does for crime. And when we win, man, when you win, crime goes down, and it's a championship. So much negative talk about our great Astros over the years. Hey. No cheating. The best team in the world, and I'm damn proud of you. I'm so proud. And, and the family atmosphere, man, of, of this group and these young men, the way they come together, the whole city is proud. Everybody's proud of them. So I'm honored uh, to be here tonight. Troy, the mayor tells us a parade, 11 o'clock Monday. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, that means work for you and your force. How do you look at that parade and, and, and what you're going to have to do now, to keep things going? Look, we know, first of all, let's get through tonight. Uh, people not going to sleep, and I already know it. I got me a nap earlier, and I told the troops uh, we're going to be out here until we tuck everybody in tonight. But um, a word to our citizens, celebrate responsibly. Uh, look out for your neighbors, okay? Know everybody's excited, but let's do it in a safe manner. Love Houston. All right, Troy, thank, thank you very you, much. Brother. We appreciate you. Astros are world champions for the second time in franchise think? history. Let's go back to Jonathan and Rashi. Hey, Jim. Hey, Mark, thanks so much. And the party is, I would say, just beginning here <laughs> yes! at Minute Bay Park. Woo! Here with the man himself, Orbit. All right, Orbit, how do you feel? All right. He's yes. feeling good. He even has on his goggles because there's going to be a big champagne celebration, of course, in the locker room. Our Astros two. are World Series champion. Rashi, thousands of fans still here inside the ballpark Oh, my park goodness. Tonight. It is just electric. I mean, even if you're not an Astros fan, it is hard not to just get chills, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. We have you covered here at Fox 26. So right now, we're going to go live to Coco Dominguez. I know, Coco, you're out in the field grabbing some interviews. <laughs> Yes, guys, like you said, Rashi, it is electric. You can see a lot of the guys right now hanging out with their families. And for a lot of them, this is the first time that they are able to experience this with their families. They're having their moment. And, of course, that goes for our guy, Jordan Alvarez. La gente que dice, you're used to this. Estás acostumbrado. Nunca se acostumbra algo así. Ah, sí, eso fue algo que el primer, el primer día que viajamos a... a... Después que terminamos el juego en Nueva York, vimos, vimos el video de, de los fanáticos de los Phillies haciendo eso. Y lo mandamos al chat de, de los, del equipo y creo que fue algo que nos motivó. The Philly fans mo motivated them when they saw it all happen in New York. They got a little video of the fans and that motivated them for the next series. Y como teniendo tu familia y luego lo que hiciste hoy, como se siente ese momento? Ah, increíble, increíble, super contento. Agradecido con Dios y la vida por eso. He is blessed and thankful to God. Yes, I think that is the saying that everyone, first of all, they want to thank God before they celebrate with lots of champagne. We're going to be here as long as they let us because there's still so many more to talk to. Christian Javier, I talked to him. We'll hear from him, of course, Yuli, Yudi, and so many more. And now let's go over to see what's going on with Matthew. Yeah, we're live uh, inside the concourse right now with 
rapper, Scarface, big Astros fan. What you think? Astros fan. I had a blast, man. I just was. I'm, I'm, I'm just honored to share this moment with my son. This was a bucket, a bucket list moment, and I got a chance to share it with my son. We want and, uh, Houston. They want Houston. We saw you take a picture with Dusty Baker. I took a picture with Dusty Baker. Uh, congratulations, Mr. 2K himself. Unbelievable. What a moment. Enjoy the moment. What a moment. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Let's go, Stu. All right. You can hear them chanting, we want Houston. You might recognize that because that's what Yankees fans were chanting as well as Phillies fans. I have to say they all got Houston because the Astros are world champions. And a lot of thanks to that guy's jersey right there, Jordan Alvarez, hitting that 450-foot home run. And we actually caught up with a fan who caught that home run ball about that experience. You can tell the fans are going nuts. But here's what that fan who caught the ball had to say. Finally hit. It didn't bounce very far. I covered it up, and uh, I got to it pretty quickly, and there was no way in heck I was going to let that ball go. It was pretty surreal. I don't remember about the next 30 seconds after that. Just uh, I remember I have the ball that we hit. And you know I'm wearing my Jordan jersey tonight, and so to oh, nice. see my uh, see my favorite player hit hit the ball in such a uh, important game, to give us the lead was pretty pretty exciting. I'm keeping this ball. If this, if this is going to be the ball that won the World Series, I think, and there's no way I'm getting rid of this ball. Yeah, so he did say he's not getting rid of that ball. I was actually there. One fan came up and offered him $100,000 for the ball, and he quickly said no. So he's not getting rid of that anytime soon. And you can tell it's an absolute party right now inside Minute Maid Park. These fans are loving it. World Series champions. And just mayhem. Mayhem. Mayhem in Houston. We love it. It's a party. Party live inside Minute Maid Park. Matthew Cedor, Fox 26 News. <laughs> Matthew, the party is <laughs> continuing, rightfully so. It's not every day that you win a world championship, so fans are still here in Minute Maid Park, outside of the park, savoring every single moment. That's right. We see fans all over the place, so we are going to go to Ruben and Sally, who are in the stands right now with fans. How's it going, guys? All right. All right, we're going to go to the podium where we understand some of the Astros are speaking. You got the flag there, young man. How good does it feel to represent your nation in a win like this? Man, that's special, man. I can't even put it into words right now, but, you know, shout out to my Dominican people. I mean, gente dominicana, lo hicimos. Y estamos aquí, activo, y gracias al señor. Back to Tyler, Jerry. Jeremy, Dusty's been managing since before you were born. Um, you know, this is his first World Series. Uh, what, did, what has he done for, for you um, specifically and also just for this team here that you've seen this year? And how badly did you want to win this for him as well? I mean, it's special for sure. Dusty Baker's a legend in the sport. You know, not just because he's been around. You know, he's had success in this game. And, uh, you know, he brings the best out of his players. You know, he gives you the confidence to just go out and play hard and, you know, let the game take care of itself. And you can't ask more of a manager. You know, he brings out the best of you. And he took me in since day one. And for this to be his first World Series championship, it, it's special to be a part of it. I will go to Anthony over here. Can you take us through that sixth inning um, with your base hit and, and setting up Alvarez there? I mean, first of all, shout out to Altuve for beating, beating out the, the double play. You know, you can't teach hustle. And he, he's hustled all year. You know, he leads by example. And that's something I always look up to, you know. And uh, yeah, it was just uh, pass the baton mentality, you know, get on base and let Jordan do his thing. You know, he's done it all year, and he came through for us. That's, that's big time. Go in front with Steve here. Congratulations. Uh, th this city is known for space. Uh, that, that sort of seemed like a moonshot that uh, Jordan hit when he hit the <laughs> ball. I mean, was there any doubt? I mean, he's done it before, but what was going through your mind once you heard, saw it? And <laughs> Man, that ball was hit hard, and I've never seen anything like it. And if I have seen it, it probably came from him as well. So, you know, shout out to him. He's a strong boy, but he's a great hitter. You know, and we're, we're glad he was, he had the special season he had this year. Other questions for Jeremy in the second row here? You, 
Congratulations. Thank you. Your season seemed to change when Dusty put you in the number two hole. Talk about that and your adjustment in that spot and how it helped you finish strong like you did. So like I said, you know, him putting me in the second in the lineup, that just tells you he, he had confidence in me to, to get the job done. And like I said, you know, he brings out the best of you. You know, I felt like I appreciated that, you know, but, you know, shout out to Jason Kanzler, our heading coach, you know, Troy Snicker, uh, Alex Centrone. You know, we worked hard all year, you know, trying to, you know, make adjustments all season long. And uh, yeah, shout out to them. Other questions for Jeremy? All right, Jeremy, congratulations. Cool. So happy for you. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, we'll give everybody a heads up as soon as we know that Dusty's on his way. Sound. They're so excited for Jeremy Payne, just so excited for Dusty Baker and the entire Astros organization. Yeah, That's incredible. Definitely. And the duo that was in Philadelphia in the rain, in the cold, is now here at Minute Maid Park with the World Series champions. And in the stands, we're talking about Ruben Dominguez and Sally McDonald. How's it going out there, finally? Guys, what is going on? It has been quite an evening. And I got to tell you, You've heard from everybody down on the field, but in the stands, that's where the Astros fans were cheering on this team to victory. I mean, Ruben, this is the first team to win the World Series on their home field in nine years. Astros fans, how are we feeling? Woo! All right, we're loving the sides. Date with destiny. You got Houston. All right, tell me. Is this 2022 World Series win sweeter than 2017? Oh, heck yeah, because it's number two, baby. It's destiny, baby. Woo! And we did it at home, Ruben. I love it. And, you know, winning this means that, you know, so many historic moments were made. We had the combined no-hitter. We had JV getting his first World Series win. It was about time. A and rookie we got MVP. rookie MVP, ALCS, and the World Series, and they did it at home. Let me ask you down here do you feel like this was a redemption season for the Astros and that they set out to prove what they needed to prove? Absolutely. I think it's incredible. <laughs> I'm speechless. I just got a free mattress. I just got a free mattress. I just got a free mattress. Yes. Thank you, Mattress Mac. Thank you, Mattress Mac. All right, before I let you go, you got to check out the jersey because I think we had a little creative, uh, you know, a little creative duct taping happen for, for Jeremy Pena. Say his name, Jeremy Pena. Back to you guys. Well, fans are celebrating here and really all across H Sound. That's right, and we got our one and only Isaiah Carey out and about at one of the bars. Isaiah, how's it going out there? You, I have been trying to not dance trap music all night, but these people are going wild in downtown Houston. We're at Dean's on Main Street where they have been partying all night, and as of the sixth inning, they claim the World Series championship. We didn't need the end of the game to happen. These guys have been excited all night. So we're going to talk to one of them. Fabio, Fabio. So what do you think about the Houston Astros winning? It's awesome, man. They worked hard. They did a lot of effort, you know, from the great hits, from the great defense and offense. Are you ready for a parade? Heck yeah. Monday, let's go. Parade. I'm ready. All right, Ed. Ed, come over here. How excited are you? Man, we're ready, baby. We waited for this all year. It finally came. We're here. Let's go! All right. Now, we're going to go to the hero of the night, Dusty Baker, who is speaking at the podium at the Astros. A team that won the World Series. Well, I, I thought about it a lot. You know what I mean? I try not to dwell on it, uh, but uh, try to have faith and perseverance and knowing that, you know, with the right team and the right personnel and write everything that, you know, this was going to happen. And um, 
you know, if, had this happened years ago, I might not even be here. You know what I mean? So maybe it wasn't supposed to happen so that I could hopefully influence a few young men's lives and their families and, and uh, you know, a number of people in the country through showing, you know, what perseverance and character, you know, can do for you in the long run. I'm hoping that I gave some people the same hope that my mom and dad, you know, gave me that, you know, sometimes you just, it's not in your control sometimes because um, there were circumstances that happened in, in other post seasons of World Series or calls or balls that, you know, or guys that didn't do this or, or did do that for and against us. So um, I'm just extremely um, happy. Hadn't really sunk in yet until probably till I get back to Cali. Mm -hmm. Clinton, the third row on your left. Is it relief? Is it joy? What's what's the feeling right no, now? No, it's not relief. It's it's, uh, it's just sheer joy and thankfulness. You know, it's not relief at all. I mean, because everybody was talking about it more than I was even thinking about it. You know, and so uh, you know, I always said before that if I win one, you know, I win two, but you got to win one first. I mean, the one was hell to, to get to this point. And uh, but uh, it was well worth it. Um, I'm in a great city with great people, great fans, and I got a great, you know, great ball club. And um, I mean, these guys, they know how to win. They come to play. No alibis, no excuses. Uh, you know, you can come in our clubhouse. You can't tell if we the next day if we lost or if we won, you know. And so these guys are very consistent in their personality and their and the confidence that they have in themselves. Uh, Christy in the fourth row on your right. Hey, Dusty. Um, last year before the World Series, we talked about the conversation you had with your dad after mm -hmm. the 2002, how he said after what happened, he didn't know if you'd ever win another one, and that kind of mm -hmm. drove you. Are you thinking about him tonight? And what, what, oh, what? Well, I was thinking about him this morning when I woke up. And, you know, game six has been my nemesis throughout my career. And this is game six. And I was like, I really didn't want to get to game six again. But I was like, well, maybe this is how it's supposed to be. But, you know, my dad didn't mean anything negative when he said, you know, my dad, you know, back in the old school, there was such thing as negative motivation. You know, in the new school, negative motivation doesn't work. But, like, you know, my dad was the kind of dude that I score four or five touchdowns, score 30 points, and I'd ask my dad, you know, how I do tonight in basketball, and my dad would tell me pretty good. And I'm like, damn, Dad, I think I did great, <laughs> you know? But, you know, pretty good was his way of keeping me motivated that next time I score five or six touchdowns. Okay. Tyler in the second row. Dusty, congratulations. Thank you. You were you succeeded as a manager right from the start. I mean, mm -hmm. the 93 Giants, manager of the year, I'm pretty sure. Um, but how has that perseverance changed you or improved you or made you different over these last 30 years? Well, I mean, it's, it's made me calmer. It's made me, um, you know, my 93 team won 103 games. And then in 94, we had the lockout. And then in 95, you know, they sold half the team. You know, Billy Swift and John Burkett and Will Clark and you know, Mike Jackson and uh, Robbie Thompson and uh, uh, Matt Williams and Kurt Manwaring. I mean, then I didn't understand it, but I didn't understand really the economics of, of baseball. Uh, and I guess they had lost a lot of money, but I always thought that we could have won five or six years more after that 93 season. And, and even five or six years later, I was saying hello to Everybody on every team that had been on my team before, Royce Clayton and, you know, Darren Lewis and Willie McGee. And, you know, we had some great players at that time. And, uh, um, you know, then scuffle back. And, you know, we've, I've had some ups and downs and some disappointments, you know. But those disappointments make you stronger or they break you, you know. And so um, this has kind of been a story of, you know, my life where people tell me what you can't do, or even now, I won a bunch of games. My team won a bunch of games. You want me to do it? Okay. 
All right. Well, we are live out here on the field. I have Michael Brantley with me. Tell me what you're feeling right now. This is a lot of excitement, <laughs> a lot of joy. Uh, these guys in this locker room, this organization deserves it. Our fan base deserves it. Uh, what a special feeling this is. What would you like to say to our fans right now? Thank you. You guys are the best fans, best fans in the league. Uh, support us every single night. We appreciate it. You always have our back. Uh, through all that we've been through in this organization, we always, you, guys, you guys have always been here and embraced me since day one. Thank you guys so much. Hey, do those goggles really work? No, they don't work at all. My eyes are killing them. Michael, let me ask you, you know, a lot of people have been hesitant to use that D word, dynasty, when referring to the Astros organization. But you guys keep winning and winning, and now another world championship. What do you say about the Astros for those who are hating on us and who didn't believe us, believe in us from the start? Yeah, this is a specialty. I don't want to use the word dynasty, but uh, this is an incredible run and a very special run. Uh, we recognize that as you know, as players, as an organization, uh, it's very special to be a part of. I'm very thankful and blessed to be a part of this organization. All right, you got a celebration on the field. You got the champagne celebration. How else are you celebrating besides the parade? Whatever my teammates want to do, I'm in. We all earned this together. We're going to celebrate tonight. Whatever we all decide to do at the end of the night. Y'all deserve it, man. Yes. Congratulations. I appreciate your time. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Well, this has been incredible, Rashi. We just heard from Dusty Baker, uh, who was speaking on the podium. And you got to be excited for him. Yes. This is the man who's done just about everything there is to do in baseball. One thing he didn't have was a championship as a manager. So he got that. We're happy for Dusty. He's such an incredible man who has had really a legendary career. You know, and I do have to say, I spoke with Alex Bregman's wife afterwards, right. soon yeah. after with the little baby, and she's like, I'm just so excited. We're here for this. Little boy had those headphones on, so I can't imagine what a magical moment it was for them. Yeah, it's just incredible. Take a look at the fans out here. Fans are still out here celebrating, savoring the moment. You've got family members out here, uh, you know, some of the players' wives. You've got, you know, former Astros out here. I saw Craig Biggio out here earlier. Uh, of course, the mayor, uh, the police chief, really just Houstonians just celebrating. Yes. Uh, it's been a long time. I mean, I got to tell you, when you get on the field right here and everybody's head is on a swivel, like, oh my gosh, this, this, that person's there and that Rashi, person, I know. It's crazy, but guess what? We got these hats here. Oh, yeah, right we got here. the uh -huh. shirts. Yeah. And I know a lot of people across town are also lining up to get these shirts. So let's check in with our Sherman DeSalle. He's live at Academy. <laughs> hey, Sherman. In a two or three year period. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so listen, Academy is like Black Friday, Memorial Day sale, all wrapped into one. Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Let me show you what we got right here. So when you walk in, you're going to have a few different different things to check out. You got some merch. Show me what kind of shirts you get. Let's show some of these. All right. This is one of my favorite ones. Look at that. Back where it belongs. That's what I'm talking about. World Series champs. How you feeling about tonight? Oh, fantastic. Been waiting for this since 2017. It's like Christmas. You got a couple of shirts. Oh, just a few. Just for a few people. Just for a few people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different shirts to choose from. And there's a lot of people on this side that are just waiting. Let me just go and check and see how they're doing. Yo! Listen. These people have been here for hours, a couple of hours. The game was still going on. They were out here because they knew that their Astros would bring it home. Come over here. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all excited? Doing good. We're excited, baby. How you feeling about that win? We're feeling great. We're feeling great. We're feeling great. Let's go. We're stoked, yeah. Woo! Look, even the dog's getting into it. So listen. Academy says they're going to be open all night. They're saying we want Houston. We know about that. So Academy says they're going to be open all night. They've popped open the Red Bulls. Their employees are not going home. They're going to be selling this merch, and they're going to keep restocking it out of their locker. It's fantastic. We're off of uh, Southwest Freeway and Kirby. A lot of people excited, horns blowing, people just excited to see another championship come to Houston. So check back in with us later. We'll definitely be here. People will be buying some shirts left and right. Reporting from West Houston, Sherman to sell, Fox 26 News. All right, Sherman, thanks so much. Guess who we've got here Woo! live on the field? Yes! The Rocker himself. Come on, can we oh, do the Rock? Uh, can, can we do the on? Rock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. got Luis Garcia here. Congratulations, <laughs> my brother. Thank you, thank you. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, so grateful to be here and just happy for the team. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing to celebrate? Obviously, you got the champagne, you got, you know, the fans here. What are you doing? You know, the champagne, she just dancing and stuff. <laughs> and get crazy. Do you have any good moves? No. No, no, no I good I mean, you're moves. known for your rock, man, so yeah. you got you got to kind of know how to do something, man. No, I, I know, but, you know, you know, just chill. A little bit later. So what do you want to tell the fans out there? <laughs> no, just thank you to be here every every night, every day. It's just grateful to have them and just happy to be here in the team. All right, awesome. I hear you love water parks. 
Are you going to celebrate by going to a water park? I don't know yet, but maybe. Possibility? Yeah, it's a possibility. Okay. <laughs> what was the moment of the night for you? I know that the first five innings were kind of slow. Everybody yeah. was, you know, kind of on pins and needles. No, and then fast. this fast. place went crazy <laughs> in the sixth. Yeah, I mean, the first five innings were fast, like, to be honest. Like, no runs, but we're fast. And then they get one run, and we're like, okay, we need, a, we need to wake up. And then, yeah, thanks to Jordan, like, that ball went like that. You know, you guys face some pretty hostile fans up in Philly, yeah. and really even in the previous series, but you kept your composure. What do you want to say about the Astros franchise uh, just in general? I mean, they're a little like the Astros, a uh, great organization, and I'm just happy to be part of it. You guys are incredible class acts, each of you. Yes. All right. Well, es un placer conocerte. That's the only Spanish I know right now. But thank you so much. All right. We've got much more coverage. we got Luis Garcia, and we also got our Matthew Seedorf, who's standing by live here as well at Minute Maid. Matthew. All right. Uh, they're actually taking us live right now, Mac. So what would you think of the game? I thought it was a great game. You know, it was very tense at first. Then Jordan hit that giant 450-foot home run, and we were in the driver's seat, and the Astros put the pedal to the metal. Great baseball team, great organization, certainly great for our entire city. So everyone's thinking you just made a $75 million bet come true. How are you feeling about that? I feel great because a lot of our customers are going to get free matches. My friend Mari right here, she dressed in a mattress suit. She's got me in that grill right there, and I'm going to give her a free matches for the best costume. All right. So, the bet, when do you go and pick up the money? What's this process like? They wire it to me next week. Uh, that's too much money to carry. Uh, Caesars Palace, I bet $3 million with them at 10 to 1, so they're going to send me $30 million, $33 million. So, at all told, we'll take in $75 million in winnings. And that will mostly be paid out to great customers who were in our promotion. The biggest sports bet in the history? It's the biggest sports bet win in, in history. So we're very happy about that. But the Astros did all the work. All I did was bet the money. I know the casinos aren't happy, but Astros fans are happy. You're happy. Astros fans are happy. And uh, gallery furniture customers are happy. And now I can uh, spend some more money advertising on television. I know uh, you heard the chance today, Mattress Mac. Mattress, Mac, seeing the memes like this right here. Uh, what, how do you handle this attention? What do you think about this ever since Philadelphia? Well, if, uh, Philadelphia was not my brightest hour. You know, I, I, I could have handled it a lot better, but a lot of people took up for us because Texans, we surround ourselves with, uh, we take care of our own. And so that's, they were bad mouthing Jose, and that, that just didn't go well with me. All right, World Series, how's it feel? Feels great. Great for Houston. Great for the city. Great for 7 million residents. Let's go. All right, here we go. You can tell everyone's excited. Channing Mattress Mac right now. Congrats, Mac. Forty Live at Minute Maid after a huge Astros win. World champions, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. here with someone very special, Miss Reagan Bregman. I know you're excited. You've been so excited this whole series. Alex Bregman's wife and one of the biggest Astros fans out there. Oh, yes, definitely. Hi, I've been so excited this whole quick? series, uh, and it's been amazing okay. having our son with us. So it's been really incredible, such a great season, and what a way to end it. It's it was so great seeing baby Knox out here, your newborn baby, what, three months old? He is three months old as of a couple days ago, so he just fell asleep celebrating. And he had the earphones on out here. Yes. It was so cute seeing him out here. Yes, we had to make sure he has a little ear protection because it got loud tonight. It got it wild out loud. here. It was so fun. That was that was amazing. You know, we talked to you earlier in the series, and you were talking about how superstitious you were. You ate a sandwich one day. We won, so you ate that same sandwich. What did you eat today? Today I had, honestly, nothing very fun. I think I had a cheese board that I made earlier. I had eggs for breakfast. <laughs> nothing crazy, but you know what I did do? I did wear orange, and I feel like every time I wore orange, we won, so I stuck to it, and we won again. So I'm like, I'm sticking to it next year, too. Yeah, so that's good if you did that. You know, it's so great to see the players celebrating after all they've been through, everything that happened in 2017, a bit of redemption. Uh, what do you think about tonight? This is just really great for our city, great for all the players. I know Alex is ecstatic. It's been really incredible, just everything that we've gone through and all of that. I feel like right now it's just been so rewarding to watch him work so hard. Like, I see how hard he works every day, and he's such an incredible, like, human. I just I could not be more happy and excited for him. Well, we are happy for you, Reagan. We're happy for Baby Knox. We're happy for Alex. We're happy for the Astros. Go Astros, and enjoy this night. Go celebrate.
All right. All right. Great talking to you as well. Again, that's Reagan Bregman, Alex Bregman's wife. Baby Knox is over there somewhere, three months old, also enjoying out here. Uh, so it's so incredible to really see the families out here. Rashi, I know you're out talking to people as well. <laughs> Yeah, the players are being pulled in 20 yes. different directions. They're doing interviews. Uh, they're, they're doing interviews. They're on the podium. Right. They're hugging family members. We yes. saw Jose Arquiti. I think he Lance had about 20 McCull childhood friends here. Right. Lance McCullers uh, right over there with his yeah, wife. Yeah, do you see Lance McCullers? His, uh, we can show right over here right Lance there. McCullers Jr. up there with his family. I mean, uh, savoring so this moment. Amazing to see the kids out here, too. I mean, it is past their bedtime, but it's right. so well, worth it. All right, they're going to party tonight, and our <laughs> Sally McDonald is also here enjoying this moment as well. I know, Sally, you're a huge baseball, huge Astros fan, so this has got to be a big night personally for you as well. Oh my gosh, just chills, you know. It, it was an, such an amazing experience to be here and win it in our own ballpark. I've made my way over to the main team store now, guys. You can see just a huge line of Astros fans in the team store ready to get the latest World Series gear. So these are the official hats that the players were wearing on the field, right guys? Okay, the official hats, 2022 World Series champions. You gonna get one of these? Uh, I'm gonna get a shirt. You gonna get and, a shirt? Uh, I'm gonna buy the uh, part of the hat online, the champion one, the yeah. fitted ones. Man, I just feels like a dream come true. I've been waiting for this for a good minute. I went to uh, the World Series last year, and I went to 2019 when they lost to the Nats. So feel good. It feels really great. They didn't have a great record, track record in game sixes until tonight. So it's got to feel good to get a, a game six win here, right? It does. It feels amazing. Yeah. Um, I was nervous all day. I probably I couldn't sleep either. Just, it just feels great. What do you think about Jeremy Pena, rookie, getting MVP in both the ALCS and now the World Series? I'm, I'm so impressed. He really stepped up into this game. It was, I didn't think he would be able to like step into Correa's shoes, but honestly, I feel like he surpassed Correa. And only that. All right, we got the Jeremy Pena jersey. Hey, enjoy tonight. Are you gonna, you're, are you gonna be able to sleep? Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. Uh, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> And then you got to get ready for the parade on Monday. Parade on this Monday? I believe so. I believe I'll, that's what the mayor said. I'll check with my boss right now, tell him I'm not going to be available. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to talk to you. What's your name? Uh, Elvis. Elvis. Yes. That's a good name. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Uh, come over here, guys. I'll show you the rest of the line. People are getting their shirts over here. Uh, I mean, we've got generations of Astros fans lined up, just not wanting to go home just yet, soaking in this no, moment. No. 2022. Too early, baby. Too, early. <laughs> Too early to go home. Yeah. <laughs> World Series champs, Houston, we earned it. The job is done. We'll send it back to you. Well, we are here live at the stage. I guess we've right. got up here Lance McCullers Jr. Hey, Lance. <laughs> Celebrating with his family. Yeah, just beautiful to see. This is big for him, of course. He was a part of the 2017 World Championship team. So for him, this is doubly nice. Hey, Lance, how you doing, brother? Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? Man, it feels a little bit like a dream. You know, it's just been an uphill battle a little bit for us as an organization and as a team. Yeah. Uh, we've lost a couple World Series, but uh, I think it makes it. We have a special guest. You got your beautiful it, daughter here. Yeah, I think it makes it a little, a little extra special when uh, you've been through a little bit of trials and tribulation. and. We, we broke through and we got it. To, we got to do it here in front of our home crowd. Yeah, you've been through a lot personally as well, Lance, with the injuries and everything. She's going away. <laughs> <laughs> you've been through a lot personally with the injuries and coming back. Uh, how was that? And, and how does this feel to win despite all of that? You know, a lot of faith, um, a lot of uh, credit to my family that have supported me, the fans who have supported me, um, my teammates. Uh, you know, there was a point in time where, you know, I didn't know if. Uh, I'd be able to be back this year at all, or maybe even if I would, you know, how long my career could or may not go. So to be here and to be part of it uh, means a lot to me. This is so amazing. So I know that there's a lot of fans out there and they've been pulling for you. What do you want to say to them? I want to say thank you guys for your support. Um, what you've meant to me, uh, what you've meant to our clubhouse, uh, more than you know. I think the, the support that you have given us, the unwavering, um, backbone that you have allowed us to kind of stand up with because of the way you have fought for us 
um, we appreciate it and we love you and tonight is just as much yours as is ours. I got to ask you one more question. Everybody's celebrating tonight. Folks don't look like they're going home anytime soon. We've got a parade on Monday. We've got, of course, locker room celebrations. What are you doing uh, to celebrate? I don't know, brother. Honestly, man, I, I'm just probably just going to go home and, <laughs> and sleep. Get some rest and sleep. I mean, it's been a tough postseason. You know, it's been a been a long couple days uh that philly stay that extra day in philly that got me brother you know i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so uh you know we'll be ready for monday for sure and uh we'll be excited to see all the astros fans out there yeah, well congratulations to you all yes. that you've done your comeback your resilience thank you we're proud so of you good to meet congratulations you and your beautiful family too say yes. hello to your wife over here and everybody his kids all right, so now we are going to toss it over to Isaiah, who is with a bunch of fans. Isaiah, I know it's not even past your bedtime, so what is it like out there? <laughs> I know it's Party Central here on Main Street. We got a lot of people. John, show the street. It's like 50% New Orleans, 50% Houston. People are having a great time out here. They are enjoying it. As we said, the Astros are now the World Series champion. Anthony, how excited are you about the Astros? I am very excited. Seeing the Astros go from 100 lost seasons to prominence and the cheating scandals, nobody can take this away from us at all. This is ours, two-time champions. All right. Let's go. Thank you, Anthony. I told Anthony not to take all damn day. So, let's see the crowd. Show the crowd. You should have shown me getting up here. I'm old as hell. But the people are enjoying this. Incredible. They're having a great time. We're at D's in downtown Houston. And of course, if you're looking for a place to celebrate, I'm actually losing my voice. <laughs> it's a great time out here. Look, from Main, one end of Main Street to the others, fans, supporters of the Houston Astros are out here and they're having a great time. Even behind you, John, turn around, turn around, turn around. All right, and here's what the people said earlier today. Take a look. What do you think about those Stros, young lady? Go Stros! Here's some Astros fan. That's right, Houston, baby! Houston, never have any doubt in them. No, and I love Dusty, so I really want Dusty to win. What you think about those strolls? Oh, you think? So you say it's about Dusty. Why do so many people want Dusty to win? Because he embodies Black America. Oh, we love it. We love it. And we love. He's like the Godfather. What do you think about a parade in Houston? Oh, let's, let's do, do it. it. I turn me up. What do you think about those strolls, Isaac? Hey. hey, you're not over. Let's go, Stroh! Staff of Deeds! <laughs> we are live out here on the field right now, and a lot of the wives are gathering together. We have Kate Upton, Justin Verlander's wife, so she's talking to us here. We're going to be asking her a few questions. Yeah, in we're going to listen moment. in. Yeah, well, when he's. He is. How, how old is he now? Three, Three months. months. Three months old now. Yeah, so sometimes when he, ha he has to sleep. We hold a photo of him, or my dad does. It has to be an update. My dad does. It has to be an update, and they hold baby knocks, and something good always happens. So that's our little good yeah. How does this moment feel for you tonight? I'm Jonathan with Fox 26. I know you've been here before uh, 2017, and you're back. Uh, how sweet is it for you and your family? It feels so different being home. I mean, a way we're like begging to be on the field. The Dodger fans were like, no, they're not allowed. And now being home and having our fans here all the way, every single seat was filled. It's just so special. We're so lucky to win at home. And describe for and we being uh, the team, not Kate, but <laughs> <laughs> let's make that clear. <laughs> so much energy. I love it. I love it. All right. How are you guys celebrating? Because of course, like the wives like to celebrate with the players and do different things. Are you and Justin planning anything special? Um, I am really hoping for some sleep. Oh my goodness, I get it. I get it. It'd be A plus if I could get some sleep. It is, it's a, such a long playoff month that you forget things, essential things like sleep or school for your child. And it's going to be nice to go back to a routine. And also, it's just so exciting. I mean, it really is. It's all worth it. 
Kate, what's that like? As a All right, we just heard from Kate Upton about how she's a mom doing this, how she's so excited. I mean, it is so amazing to hear from the wives because it's such a different perspective, Jonathan. Yeah, it really is. It really is great to hear from them because they are along for the ride, yes. really, the whole way. With a little baby, it's a lot, lot harder. All right, so I think we're going to be going straight to... We're going to keep talking to oh. folks out here. We want to oh, show okay. some of the fans, of course. We heard some of... Hey, Chef Ray. Chef Ray, come here. Come here, my brother. Chef this Ray's is a buddy of mine here. Right, he Ray. is the personal chef for Alex Bregman. We featured you earlier you uh, this week during the series. You, you made that Breggy oh. Bomb breakfast sandwich for Alex. And it, it appears it worked. Yes, he had it this morning. So... <laughs> The Breggy Bomb does work. You're such a huge Astros fan. Right, a lot of people may not know that you also started. used to be the team chef for the Astros. So this has got to be go good to, for go you because Jonathan, you have a personal relationship with a lot of these players that goes beyond just on the field. Exactly. Altuve as well. He was a freshman when I was, I call him a freshman. He was just getting started when I was the chef uh, in 2011, my first year there. So it's full circle for me. It's been exciting to, to um it's just been, it's it's, un, it's like literally a you know 57 year old man like myself that left corporate America to become a chef, and 18 years later to be standing here on Minute Maid Field where literally I almost started. Um, it's a beautiful. I mean, it's just it's 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 God. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. All right. Well, thank you so thank much you. for Thanks, talking Chef with Ray. us. Good seeing you. Um, so, you know, the hats, the shirts, I don't even know what else is out there. Let's go to Sherman Desell, who is over at Academy. Sherman, what kind of merch are you getting there? Well, first off, Rashi, just let me know what size you want, okay? I'll hook you up. But there's a little bit of everything. Oh, wait, look at look at you. Show me what you got. Bro, I got like seven shirts in here. Seven? Dude, I got like seven. Can, I, can you swipe the card for me? Oh, he's got eight. I got you, bro. Okay, cool. So how you feeling about tonight, man? Dude, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's been five years since we won, but, you know, it, I'm, I'm feeling real good. Feeling, yeah, clearly you're feeling real good. Can I show you what, can I show what we got here? All right, that's, that's just one of them here. That's a pretty nice shirt. And you got a pennant. This is one of my favorites right here, you know. Nice pennant. I can put that in my office right there. All right, cool deal. All right, so look. Yeah, so so walk with me, talk with me, because from what I understand, you really enjoyed seeing all these fans out here. So we're going to show you just how many more people are still awaiting. With. My dad. Is he excited? Yeah, he's so excited. You want to put a speaker? Yeah. Where is he? He's at home. He's at home. Hey, dad, how you doing? What's up? This is Sherman with Fox 26. You excited, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You going to sleep? No. I'm not Please don't. Have a cerveza, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey. Everybody's excited, man. And look. It's wrapped all the way around the building. And this guy, he works for Academy, but he needs to be promoted to the marketing department because he's been out here hustling these shirts. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling lovely, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful. We party tonight, all day, every day to the parade. You feel me? Um, Y'all don't plan on closing tonight. We are not closing. No, we're not closing. We're open 24 hours. Tell me your location right here. Uh, 2404 Southwest Freeway. All right, Southwest Freeway. But all the academies in the area are, are crunk. They're ready. All right, so let's toss it over to Natalie. She's checking out the fans. Let's go, Astros! Stop! 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 Stop!
Actually, it's a party. All right, let's go to Fox 26's Ruben Dominguez because I know he has been doing a lot of work with the fans out there cheering him on. Absolutely, guys. And, uh, you know, this is a historic evening for Astros fans, for anybody that has uh, ever been down here to Minute Maid Park and cheered the good guys on. This is the night that we've been waiting for. So of course, now you got to show your colors. You got to wear you got to wear that new World Series swag. I've got Tom Jennings, VP of retail here. Man, well, you and I have done this a bunch of times. And this year has been a banner year with the Space City jerseys, with all the merch. You guys have probably broken records this year. We actually have. This is the largest year in retail sales that MLB has ever had, ever. And it's thanks to the Astros fans that uh, want to want to wear the swag. So right now, let's talk about it here because we're at the team store in Union Station. It is packed it, to the gills, to capacity for folks who are watching this at home and they want to come down here. They want to be part of history. They want to get their team swag. What do they need to know? We're actually going to be open for 24 straight hours. So we're going to be open from now until 11 p.m. on Sunday night. So come on down. We got the locker room hat and T-shirt. We got the parade tee, TBD on the parade date, but we're here in early in the week. And then we have all sorts of novelties as well. And we're going to have all sorts of it. great product coming in through the week. I love it. Always a pleasure, my friend. Absolutely. You're the best. All right, guys, go Astros World Series champions. Come get your swag, guys. Back to you. Thanks so much. We got David Hensley here, another world champion with the Houston Astros. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, you're soaking wet. I just touched you. You're wet because you've been soaked with champagne already. Yes, sir. It's Tell me about the celebration in the locker room. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy. The boys are so happy in there. And it's just such a, such a good moment for everybody and everything that we've been through this whole year. And to see these guys and ultimately end up win a, win a championship, it can't even put it into words. I see you walking around here too. What's going through your mind? Because I see so many players doing just that. I'm trying to process this all. This is crazy. I uh, never thought that I would be here in this moment. And to actually be here, it's, it's incredible. The feeling I can't even describe. What do you want to say to the fans out there? Thank you so much. You guys, you guys inspire us day in and day out. And it's been a true, true honor to be able to be a part of this. Do those goggles work? Ah, well, this might be tough. Hey, you also brought up the cigar. Show us the cigar. Yes. You got to do that because when you win a World Series, this is you drink what some you champagne. Look like. Oh, yes. This the is cigar, the look. You do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> man, congratulations to you, man. We appreciate it. Thank you Thanks so for your time. Thank you so much for your time. No Thank problem, you. No you know, Thank and that's you. the thing I love about the Astros players. Mm -hmm. They are all. Oh, Got a little buddy here, but I love that about the Astros players. They're just so friendly. Yes. They're so humble. They've been through so much, but they continue to just be so excited. Yes. You know, I was like actually chasing Jose Altuve. I was like, Jose, Jose. I think we have Jose to, Altuve. Yes, we do. So we have a sound bite, and I was just going to toss to it. Just let him know that. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, go ahead. All right, let's hear from Jose. <laughs> you know, obviously, very special. Uh, you know, we were dreaming about this since we got to spring training. We have the team to do it. We have. You know everything we need to make it happen, and you know tonight we, we did it. And it's like I said, just a, a dream come true. What were your emotions when you got the third out and it was over? You know I just couldn't believe it, and uh, you know I wanted to cry, I wanted to scream, I wanted to you know hug my my uh, teammates. I did all that, and you know right now I just celebrating. What did you think about Jeremy Pena being named MVP? You know he's one of the best players I ever seen. You know. <laughs> I said in the spring training he's going to be good, he's going to be a superstar, but this is hard to believe. Well, he made uh, he made history, you know, first rookie with a uh, short start with a homer, ALCS MVP, World Series MVP. He's just amazing. He can do everything, uh, and, you know, he's obviously one of the biggest reasons why we won this year. How happy are you for Astros fans and for the city? For everybody, for my teammates, for the city, for everybody. You know, it just uh, almost doesn't feel real. Uh, I think for the guys who have been here, you know, the whole time. I think we've been we've been fighting for this moment. We've been fighting for the opportunity to 
you know, get back to the World Series and win it and, uh, you know, kind of earn our, earn our place again. Uh, the guys who have come here and uh, supported us and the way they played and the guys who were here are no longer here. They're all a part of this. Um, you know, this is this was for Houston, and they get to call themselves champions once more. Lance, is it, is it time to stay dynasty? And, you know, we're just going to enjoy the night. You know what I mean? Um, I think those are for those are words for other people. So, uh, is this sweeter than 2017? I think because of the losses and the World Series, and because of everything we've been through as a group, I, I think I think yes. I'd like to say to Houston and Astros fans right now. You know, uh, you're, you guys have supported us. We really, really needed you guys for many years. You've had our back, and we're just so blessed and happy to be able to deliver you this championship. What do you think about Jeremy Pena, MVP? Listen, uh, there are a lot of MVPs of this series. Ryan Presley, Abreu, uh, Fran Valdez. Uh, but what Pena has been able to do on the defensive side of the ball, the offensive side of the ball, whether it's driving in runs or continuing rallies like he did tonight before Yoron's homer, he's been spectacular the whole postseason. All right, we are here with the man of the night. I'm going to see if yes. we can grab him really quick, Mr. Jeremy Pena, of course, tonight's MVP. Dominicano. Jeremy's here with a lot of Dominicano, his fans, his family. Yes. It's so good to see you. Jeremy, can we get a quick, quick second with you? I know this is a big night for you. I know you got to go. Uh, just give me your reaction. MVP tonight. Man, the individual awards are cool and all, but, you know, the, the, the biggest goal is to win the World Series. Shout out to my team, man. Shout out to this team, man. That's special. Shout out to the city of Houston. We love you guys. Let's man, how are you celebrating tonight? Real quick, real quick. Man, I don't even know yet, but we're about to find out. All right, he had to go. He's the man of the night, the MVP, Jeremy Pena. It's, it's so excited to see him. Uh, you know, just a huge night in a huge series for him all around. Yes, we've been talking with other players. Here's some reaction from them. Man, this is special. You know, this is what you work for all year. Could have happened to a better group of guys. And, you know, we just showed the world that, you know, this team, this team gets it done, and that's what we did. Did you ever think this would happen for you so quickly? I mean, that's why we that's why we play. You know, we knew going into spring training, the goal was to go all the way. These guys, you know, were left with a bit of taste in their mouth with last year. You know, me being in the dugout last year, I did not want to experience that again. So, uh, man, I'm so glad it happened, and they're yeah, blessed. Astros fans have been through a lot the last few years. How happy are you to get this for them? Man, Houston, we love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting us all year. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the best. Let's go. Hard to put into words. It's, it's incredible. Um, I'm just so proud of these guys. And to just be a part of this is, is um, you know, the best experience of my life. You know, uh, I'm so appreciative for, for these guys in here and, and the fans. You know, for, for bearing with me, I know um, it hasn't, it, it didn't go completely according to plan. Um, but, but I want to thank them for sticking with me. And uh, I've just absolutely loved my time here. Love being part of this team. And, uh, you know, I, I was in Baltimore a long time and, and had such a close relationship with the city. So I also want to thank everybody here for welcoming me with open arms. And uh, like I said, kind of bearing with me through, through some of the struggles. Um, I do it all over again to experience this. To get that last out, you, you, it comes through and, and you don't understand how, how emotional and how everything happens all at once. You're just overwhelmed with emotions. And, you know, hats off to my teammates, man. They, they go out there and grind every day. And, and the coaching staff, and I mean, this, the city of Houston, man, they support us nonstop. You know, they they wear the ridicule with us all the time. So, I mean, man, I, I can't say enough. All right, we're out here on live on the field. I have Mauricio Dubon. Tell me what you are feeling right now. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy, especially doing for the for the people of Houston. You know, I came from San Francisco, and, and it was
Uh, and you kind of you know rem reminisce about it, but I mean this is, this is a really special moment. You know, it was sold out. Every, everyone's cheering for us, so you know, re really cool to see all the fans come out and support us, and really cool to you know be a part of this. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it, Kyle Tucker. Uh, after winning a World Series, you can tell he's still taking it all in. Very excited about this moment. Uh, World Series champs. We're live at Minute Maid. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. All right. One thing with all the. Uh, athletes is that they smell a little bit of alcohol yeah, and cigars. They, you know, what's going on in the clubhouse? Yeah, they've been celebrating, and they are still celebrating. Yes. Let's look at what happened just a bit uh, a few minutes ago. Celebration is continuing out here tonight. We've got Framber Valdez, a huge hero of the World Series here tonight, celebrating with his friends and family. He's being told and pushed in all different directions, people wanting pictures, and he's talking to so many of them. So yeah. we've been a trying to grab favorite, him. Really. Yes, really is. And he's so sweet also. He's yeah. just so accessible. That's why all these people want him. Yeah, he's going to talk. I know you say you don't speak much English, so you got a translator here for us. Uh, how, how, how's Framber feeling tonight? How are you feeling tonight? How are you feeling tonight? Uh, me siento bien, me siento uh, emocionado, me siento orgulloso. Excited, proud. How does this feel? You got so much love from Astros fans. How does it feel to have all uh, uh, do this in front of a sold out crowd? Que tanto amor de toda la afición de los Astros. ¿Cómo se siente de hacer esto en frente de toda en la casa? Sabiendo ellos que son ese este juego es para ellos, este juego es para todos, este juego es para nosotros. Sentirnos bien de ganar la Serie Mundial y demostrar al mundo entero de que ganamos, ganamos con nuestros cojones. That he knew that this game was for the people and they wanted to show everybody that they wanted to win with the good guts. All right, what would you like to say to all of your fans? Que gracias, thank you so much. I'm proud for my fan. Thank you and gracias por el amor incondicional y que los amamos mucho. Thank you for the conditional love and we love you so much. All right, thank you so much for thank your you time. So I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Valdez, thank you. one of the big guys Woo! who helped us yes! bring home another world championship to Houston. <laughs> You gotta love Romper Valdez. We couldn't have done it without him. Savoring the moment like all of the players out here yes. at Minute Maid Park. It really it is, is incredible. I mean, it looks like most of the fans are gone, but there's people just still, you know, here on the field. Mm -hmm. Just can't believe it. Soaking it all in. That's what but everyone I love is how saying. The play, I love how all of the players, uh, I love how all of the players, they came out, they went in, they came back out to greet yes. the fans. You know, they're not, they really are savoring this with the fans. Yes, with their cigars. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, we're going to right now go live, I believe, to outside the ballpark where there's a lot going on. Are Shelby Rose is out there, okay. I believe. Okay, Shelby Rose. Hey. hey, yes, Shelby. Hey, guys. Yeah, we're out here at Minute Maid Park. Doesn't seem like the party is slowing down fans out here playing music. We had Paul Wall out here just not too long ago. Johnny Day also, guys, found out. He said that he's going to give the team World Series grills. Heard that here first, guys. What do you think? Astros win the World Series. What was that like for you? Amazing. Amazing. It's the second time, and it was just amazing. And I mean, Dusty Baker, everyone, do it for Dusty. You know, getting his first World Series title. What is that like for you to see that? Get that from him? That's awesome. Congratulations, Dusty. You're the best, baby. Y'all wanted Houston. Y'all got Houston. Yeah, guys, Houston. I mean, with Dusty Baker, this entire team, the people that we spoke to, they are just so grateful and just so appreciative that this team has done this for the city of Houston, and we are just going to be here all night. It does not seem like anything is slowing down at all. So 
So yeah, we're just back to you guys. You don't want Houston. Now reporting live in downtown Houston, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Y'all don't want Houston. Told you. Told you. All right. All right. It's so great hearing from Astros fans tonight, people all across the city celebrating. We are so proud of our fans. You know, I'll be honest, Houston, we know, is not the most liked team outside of Houston. Right. But our fans showed up every single we game. We have leveled up. Leveled up. We have leveled in a big up. way. In yes, a big way. we definitely have. Well, we want to take you uh, to show you just people still out here celebrating tonight. You see some of the players, families, uh, some of the players. Uh, just We've seen everyone out here, some of the players' wives, uh, really just savoring the moment with the kids. Yes, I mean, can I just say, as a mom, when I see these little kids, I'm like, Wow, this is way past your bedtime. This is gonna mess up the schedule. But you know, but it's what? the World it's, Series, know, Rashi. It's I know the World, it's the World Series. Series. I get it. I get there it. There is no <laughs> bedtime with the World Series. We stay up all night. I don't care if you're young or you're old. You know. All Our right. Mark Bourbon is out here as well. He's up late with us. Hi, Mark. Incredible, incredible. Obviously, I knew that there was a moment that I needed to help the team out, and thankfully it was there. What was it like when you hit the home run as you were circling the bases? ¿Cómo fue para ti cuando conectaste el home run y estaba dando la vuelta a la base? Ah, no, sentí que el terreno estaba vibrando. Imagínate la emoción de los fanáticos. Eso fue lo que le dije a los muchachos. Sentí el 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 terreno que se estaba moviendo. Increíble. Yeah, incredible. I felt like the like the ground was shaking as I was running the bases. Obviously, thanks to the fans. That's what I told the guys. Like, I felt that the field was moving. Where does this moment stack up in your life, in your career right now? ¿Dónde pones este momento en tu carrera? Número uno, ese creo que es el jorro más importante, uno de los jorros más importantes que he dado en mi carrera, creo que para toda la vida. Yeah, obviously, I think number one. Obviously, I think that's one of the one of one of the most important home runs I've ever hit in my career. So, so it's up there. How does it feel to, to hear Jordan Alvarez, world champion? ¿Cómo siente para escuchar Jordan Alvarez, campeón de serie mundial? Suena tan bonito cuando lo dicen. He sounds even beautiful when you say it. Gracias. Did that go? I don't know. Hey. All right, we're back here live inside Minute Bay Park where the party is continuing tonight after the Astros win this world championship. Just so incredible, the feeling, even with most of the crowd gone, you can still feel the excitement here. Yeah, definitely. We're inside Minute Maid Park, but there's a lot of celebration outside. That's where we find Fox 26's Isaiah Carey past his bedtime, I would say. I am in the thick of things here in downtown Houston. As you can see, the people are out here. They have been out here. They claim that victory like in the sixth inning. Hundreds, possibly thousands of people all along Main Street. We're being, we have been here at Dean's where we've been posted up all night. A lot of the fans are here. They're excited. So we're going to talk to Fabian. Come here, Fabian. Fabian is one of the fans. What do you think about the Astros? Man, the Astros are great, man. They want us to. They worked hard. The fans love it. Look at the crowd. A-Sound's chance for the year. We have been out cheating once this year, so don't bring All right, that baby, up. you're talking too much. <laughs> Come on, Don Frisco. What's up? Tell us about the, the, the Astros and the parade. Are you excited about the parade? Man, I'm excited. I already called in to work. I ain't going into work. You know How can saying? you call into work on a Saturday night? No, on a Saturday night because uh, I think the parade wins is like Monday or Sunday. Monday? Right. Really on quick. Monday. Hold on one time. They're shooting fireworks in downtown Houston. You can't beat that for the World Series. That is the fans here in this Houston. They love it. And one of the things that we had tonight was many people saying, we're doing it for Dusty, Dusty Baker of the Houston Astros. And they were absolutely committed to seeing him win a World Series. And as you can see out here, the people are out here enjoying the night thoroughly on Main Street. And of course, we'll keep it partying out here, Rashi and Jonathan, until you get here. Wait, what do you want? What do you want? All right, back to you, Rashi and Jonathan. All right, Isaiah, you know it is past midnight. That means it is Sunday. Good morning to you. And we got the 
of paper. It's Fresh official. The, press. It the Houston official. Chronicle World Champions Astros claim second title. You can see Jeremy Pena on there, the MVP with a fan favorite, the guy, Jose Altuve. So if you haven't picked one of these up, you want to do that. <laughs> it's <World> 12 11. <laughs> hey, picked... I mean, if you want to get up right now and get what you could. Yes, exactly. And you also can get the merch, the t shirts. Oh, look at this, these the hat. Yes. Uh -huh. We had these made. They had them made ready. They knew yeah, we were going to win. He tailors, so that's why he had them. <laughs> no, you know, it's so no, great that. to just see yeah. the excitement in the city. I tell you, you know, I was here in 2017. You were here in 2017 as well. Yes. And just to see people really rally around this team through the ups and the downs, yes. the, the cheating scandal, the change in management. They bounce back every time. It really is incredible. Every single time. Let's go live now to our very own Coco Dominguez, who is out talking with fans and players, Coco. Yes, guys, I've been catching up with all the guys tonight. Of course, I got to check back in with Jose Urquidy's family. You see, Sweat. You see, These play. guys have known Urquidy since they were about four years old. They played baseball with him. Este momento, how do you feel in this moment right now? Nos sentimos muy orgullosos de nuestro amigo y de poder acompañarlos aquí desde Mazatlán. Y pues aquí lo apreciamos mucho todos. Y gracias a Dios se le dio ya en su tercer serie mundial. They are so happy with their friend. They're happy that they are representing Sinaloa, Mexico, and they've traveled sí, all the sí. way. Y este momento para Urquidy, you guys know him. What does this mean for him? ¿Qué, qué significa este momento para él? Significa mucho. Urquidy lleva tres series mundiales, tiene... Eh, como mexicano es el único que ha participado en tres series yes, mundiales. Yes, the only Mexican that has participated yeah. in three World Series. Tuvo una victoria este, contra Washington, yes, contra yeah, Atlanta el año pasado. So... Dos victorias. Este año tuvo una aparición muy importante en el juego tres. Yes, este, he had a very important part in the game three. Eh, eh, él estaba concentrado, él sabía que podía entrar. And he knew exactly what he could do. Para él lo más importante siempre ha sido el equipo, que el equipo gane. Okay. Él es siempre un cierto, el equipo no, no le gusta la individual, individualidad. He says the most important thing for him has always been the team, togetherness and unity in the team. He doesn't y, like to separate. Y hoy, ve, y hoy ve coronado el esfuerzo que ha, a su corta, a su corta carrera en grandes ligas, yes. lo ve coronado. Yes, José he said Uquiri, this hoy, is it. Hoy es eh, corona. Tres series mundiales, three tres victorias. Series, three victories. All right, y ¿cómo van a celebrar? How do you celebrate with your best friend from childhood? Vamos a tomar pura agua. <laughs> he says they're going to drink a bunch of water. We got to see what color that water is. Vamos a comer camarones, camarones de Mazatlán. They're going to okay. eat shrimp from Mazatlán. Llegando a Mazatlán, Urquidy tiene la mejor de las fiestas en el puerto. Okay, el malecón. El malecón de Mazatlán se cierra para José Urquidy llegando. Okay, they are semana. shutting everything down for José Urquidy. We also got a chance to catch up a little bit earlier with Christian Javier and his family. And really, they are all taking in the fact that this is a big moment for them. This is just as big for their family, for their friends, as it is for them. I also got a chance to talk to Benya's mom, who told me about her little heart and how all of that came to be, but really at the end of the day, you're very thankful to God. They're very thankful for this opportunity for su all of fiesta, their friends. Su fiesta después de Mazatlán, la vamos a hacer en la carreta de Mazatlán. Okay, he said en, they're partying que, in Mexico. You're going to the parade, el parade el, el lunes. El lunes, el lunes. El lunes. All right, we'll see them at the parade, and we'll check in with some more players here in no, just a little bit. Que lo pongan, Coco, Coco. Porfa. <laughs> que suene la tambor. All right. I was looking over there because Coco's right next to us talking to Jose Arquini's friends and family. It's so great to see just, you know, the excitement and how the, the support that they really have from all over. I know. I, even us, we were both there, and it was like the confetti was going. We just took a moment to just soak it all in, just like everyone else. Yeah. It just it means so much. And all the right. merch is actually incredible. If you haven't gotten a shirt, it's, you definitely will want to get one. It looks great. I don't know if this is a medium or a small, but this is what they it's gave me. Medium. This is what they gave me, I so love I'm using it. And our Sherman to sell yeah. is live at Academy tonight, where folks are also picking up some merch. Sherman. Jonathan, Jonathan did you just call your shirt a medium? Oh, man, that's, that's hilarious. But listen, you know, there was a crowd here. Everybody's going home. There's some music playing. I mean, I guess you can. No, I'm just playing. There's a bunch of people over here. A bunch of people over here. Bunch of Astros fans waiting to get their hands on some shirts. Look, they're all down there. Look all the way down there. Man, how y'all feeling tonight, man? I 
feel pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we waited a little while for this. You know, we've gone through a lot since 2017. It's been a kind of a grind, yeah. you know, having to stand up for the Astros after the cheating, but we stuck through it. We're here now. Give me your reaction when Jordan hit that three run. Oh, I mean, we were all up out of our booth. Just, I, I blacked out for sure. You blacked for out? Sure. I'm glad you're all right, bro. I don't remember it. I don't remember. I could have fainted. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's okay, and he's watch. He's coming to get a, a, a shirt. Well, I'm actually looking out for my guy, Matthew, right now. He almost got knocked over, but we're looking out for each other out here. So listen, the people are excited. Come out, check out to Academy. There's tons of shirts. They've been, they've been promoting them all in the parking lot. People are still coming in the parking lot. Take a look. And then the, the music's playing. I mean, come on. Just come out here, right? If Southside plays, I'll do it for you. I promise you. Back to you guys. Hey. All right. Hey, guys. We are back here live at Minute Maid Park. We are getting ready, of course, uh, to continue the celebration. Uh, just take a look around. We want to show you just how folks are still out here. We've got fans. We've got players. We've got officers. It really is just a party here in the city of Houston, here in the ballpark. Uh, Ruben Dominguez is somewhere around here. Ruben, where are you? What is happening, guys? We are outside. This is Union Station. Take a look at these Astros fans. They came from all over the city. Yes, they came from all over the city. They are standing in line to get the World Series slag. That line goes all the way around the block, guys, because Astros fans want to support. They want to be able to, to tell the entire world. They wanted Houston. They got Houston. So the team store is going to be open all night long if you want to come down here, guys. All right, but hey, celebrities, VIPs in the building all night long. Dim the head of Diamond Boys himself, the OG, Johnny Dang. We caught up with him. Check it out. All right, guys, so we're waiting on sound. I'm sorry, we're, we're having some technical difficulties. I'm t I'm, all, right, all right, check it out, fans. Here we go. All right, let me ask you, how special, how special? Family trip. This is a family trip for the World Series. How excited are you right now? You just got to see history in this building. 100%. 100% feeling good, feeling good. We feeling good, Astros fans. We feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How special is this moment? Hey, this is this is one of the biggest things for this city, man. 2017 was the last time we won. That's a dog, man. That's the future of this team. Let's go! So, let me ask you this. Tell everybody what happens next year. We're running it back. Repeat. Hey, hey, next year, next year, Jeremy Pena. Next year, Jeremy Pena is going to be a regular season MVP, and then and then Framber Valdez is going to win the Fra Framber Valdez is going to win. Hey, hey, help me remember, Jeremy Pena re replaced somebody. I'm having trouble. Carlos Correa, man. Hey, why'd you go to the Twins? MVP, MVP, MVP. Jeremy Pena, Sammy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We were just, we were just, no, 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 no. Hang on. We were just talking about MVPs. Sammy from Exclusive Furniture, how you feeling right now, man? Man, I'm feeling great. Feeling great. We brought the championship back to the H. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's all good, baby. I'm top. Now my night is complete. Guys, back to you. All right, guys. So, all right. All right. Yes, we're sending it to Sally right now. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How are you? Hey, Ruben, you are outside the team store. I am inside the team Woo! store. Woo! It just opened to the public, and it's going to be open for 24 hours. This team store is not closing until 11 o'clock tonight now since it is uh november 6th now hey this is what everybody wants to get right a world series champion shirt or hat they've got so much gear here how fired up are you guys Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! so let, let me ask you where 
where did you guys watch the game from? Right here. You were here. Right here, right here in the right stadium. Here. Right, here in the stadium. Right, here. right here. What was it like when Kyle Tucker caught that final out? What went through your mind? What was your reaction? Unbelievable. They they can't say anything anymore now. We want to Houston. You we want to Houston. Houston. You got Houston. You wanted Houston. You got, got us. Let me ask you this. Owner Jim Crane has not decided if you know, Dusty Baker's coming back next year. Would you like Dusty Baker to come back? I would love Dusty. Yes. This one was for Dusty yes. and H-Town. We want Dusty. Come back, Dusty. Yes. Dusty. We want Dusty. Dusty. We want Dusty. We want Dusty. We want Dusty. We want Dusty. Let me ask our lady in our sparkles here. What kind of gear do you have? I have had shirts. I have I have a list for different people. I get them every year for them, every year. How are you going to be celebrating tonight? Oh, gosh. I'm, in, I, I, yeah, <laughs> right, shot, shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys enjoy. Yay! Congratulations. Yay! Astros are your World Series champs again. The team store having a 20. Here, we're, oh, flip it around, flip it around, flip it around. Wait, wait, wait. It is bedlam. It is absolute bedlam outside of Minute Bay Park, guys. I think, uh, uh, guys, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know we've got incredible fans, incre and we have an incredible baby. We have an Astros baby right here. Uh, I think this is Johnny Dank from earlier. Let's listen. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Houston Astros, World Series champion, Johnny Dang. How you feeling? So excited. I'm right here. I feel so good. You've been a longtime supporter, a big sports fan for Houston. This has got to make you feel good to see H-Town on the biggest stage in the world. Yes, I feel so great. It's the second half. It's been not too long ago. We were sorry. I'm so excited. I'm going to make a lot of nice out life. Grill for Dusty Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to What diamond grill? Love it, man. Diamond boys in the house, man. Much yeah, respect. Thank you. Yeah, we celebrate. We celebrate now. All right, you know, I know it's loud outside, but it is loud in here too. We got some fans who are in disguise. They are security they're the ones that make sure they keep us all safe now these guys work security every single game and so we wanted to get them all together to appreciate them because they make sure we're safe they do and i know a lot of the guys are telling me you guys are here every single game you get to watch how does it feel to see the strolls win at home awesome finally did a good job what about you i did great you did great yes you did great i did not miss a day this whole season not one day all right, Jonathan, look, he already has some merch already. I see you grab some stuff, all right? Astros, got to be there, got to support, no matter what. Can't wait for next season already. I got to tell, I got to ask you, so what is it like being at all these games and then, like, hiding your cheering? I mean, you Oh, know, man, it's some, it, it, it's real difficult, you know, to keep the keep the, keep it all in. You know, you still got a job to do, make sure everybody's safe, staying safe. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, you congratulate your boys and can't wait for next season. I know, now you're just, like, on the field yeah. cheering. And Are I want to talk, we got some officers here. You guys ready for a big parade on Monday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting oh, yeah. there. We're, we're, yeah. we're setting it up. Yeah. We're setting it up. How does it feel like I asked some of the others to see the Strohs win here at home in front of the home crowd? It's yeah. incredible. We're, we're so happy. I mean, we worked all year, and it's a great time for us. We couldn't do it without you guys. We want to say we appreciate you. Our Houston police, our security. We can't do anything in this city, you know, of this magnitude without you guys. We love you guys. Hey, Jonathan, I got the boss. I got the boss right here. She runs field security. Girl power. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right, tell me what it's been like this season for you. Uh, it's been great. We knew we were going to do it. These guys were awesome, and they pulled it off and put another ring on it. All right, you going to get one of those? I hope so. Right. We we'll hope so, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations to everybody here. We've got much more of our coverage. World champions here in Houston. We'll be right back.
Welcome back live inside Minute Maid Park. The party is continuing. We're here. Thank you for sticking with us here at Fox 26 News as the Astros have clinched yet another World Series title tonight. That's right. And our swing for the ring coverage continues for you. So we're going to go live now to Shelby. And Shelby, I understand you're talking with fans outside. <laughs> Hey, guys, yeah, I mean, it's Saturday night. No one's trying to go home, am I right? Exactly, case and point. I'm sure you guys have probably seen Moon Man out here. What's it like to see the Astros win the World Series? This is the best place to be on Earth right now, in Houston. It's amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. The whole city is buzzing right now because our Astros took the championship. How about them Astros, baby? Oh, yeah! Well, hey. to the, everyone who still considers the Astros cheaters. Fuck y'all. Well, all right. No, 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 Sorry, no. guys. Did not mean to do that. It is live television. Anything can happen. Oh, on, but guys, no. <laughs> hey, y'all do. Let's go, Astros. Hey, Mom. Hey, guys, we got everyone that we spoke to just hope that anyone, any. All right, we are back live inside Minute Maid Park. The party is continuing uh, with Shelby Rose. We've got reporters in the stands outside at the parties. It's still going tonight. It still is. All right, so we are right now going to toss to a sound bite. Yeah, uh -huh. let's listen to this. <laughs> let's listen to this. All right, okay, well, I understand we're wrapping up for tonight. All hey, I want right. to I want to bring in our crews here, our Fox 26 crews here. We're wrapping up for tonight. We got Coco, Woo! Matthew, Rashi, Woo! all of Tori, us out here. here Thank you all so Tori. much for sticking with us. This has been a heck of a series. World champions. World champions. Wow. And you we know, got Raymond Ramirez, city, too. I expected nothing but greatness from my city, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, and we're so glad all the Fox 26 crews, our photographers. We got Tori here. Raymond Ramirez. Raymond Ramirez behind the camera. Yeah. All of us, thank you guys for sticking with us and everybody else at Fox 26. Of course, we got a big parade, guys, on Monday. So let's rest up tonight and get ready to party. <laughs> Tell our boss not to text no, us. <laughs> All right, well, we're, yeah, let's go grab a drink. All right. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. So we'll much. see Good you. Night.